depending on how long you've been using Android, you may remember when the individual tabs within Chrome showed up as you were browsing through the Recents page. Many of you may not remember this because it hasn't been this way on Android in a while, but Google has recently rolled out a new update to Chrome that adds a hidden feature which brings this feature back. And I'm going to show you that today. So not only will this change which Chrome tabs are actually open and viewable in the Recents page, but it can also make things a lot more organized if you're the type who opens up a number of tabs in Chrome. Now this new feature is a work in progress. We're seeing the hidden toggle both in the beta version of Chrome as well as the canary version of Chrome, but I'm not seeing all of the functions in the beta. And I'll let you know what I mean by that when we come across it. So right now, as of this video, it's only available in the Canary version of Chrome, but I expect this to roll out to the beta and the stable version within the next couple of months. So if you want to test this out now, we need to download the Canary version of Chrome, which you can get from the Play Store. And then you need to go into the Address field, or the Omnibar, however you want to call it, and go to the Hidden Chromes page. We do that by typing out chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags just like you would be typing out a web address and then press enter on the keyboard and it should take you to this page so once we are at this page we need to search for the word instance and when you do that you should see a hidden toggle a hidden feature labeled enable hints instance switcher. It's set to default by default, but we can go in and set this to enabled. And we have this blue relaunch button at the bottom. We can go ahead and relaunch it. And just for good measure, let's go ahead and swipe it out and close it from memory so we can open it up fresh. Sometimes this is required whenever we change Chrome flags. Sometimes it isn't but I usually do it just to be sure. Now you may be asking yourself, what does this instance switcher do whenever we are in Chrome? By default, you're not really gonna see much of anything. However, if we go in and bring this app, the Chrome Canary app into split screen mode, doesn't matter what we put in the bottom part, but when we look in split screen mode, we can go in and go to a new website. So we wanted to go to google.com. So as we are on a single website, we can tap the three dot menu button at the top right and tap on the new window option. This is not going to be available if you have not enabled this hidden option. We can tap the new window and you can see it's going to open up a new tab in the bottom part of the screen. Because we had the app open in split screen, when we open up a new window, it's going to open up a tab in the other part of the screen. If you have a dual screen device, that means it's going to open it up from one screen to the next. But since we opened that website, in a new window and not just another tab, whenever I go into the Recents page, we can see the tab that we were at. This was the tab at the top of the screen. We can also see the window we were at that was at the bottom. This is a completely different instance of Chrome. You can see we only have one tab open here and we can open up multiple tabs here as well. while still maintaining that other instance of Chrome with other tabs open as well. All because we opened up a new window with the three dot menu. Now, after you have 
opened up a new window, you're going to see this manage windows option. And now I don't see this manage window option when trying out this feature on Chrome beta. I'm only seeing this manage windows option when testing this out on Chrome Canary. And we can do that. We can actually manage these other windows just like you would expect. It'll open up a pop-up. We can see this is our current window of Chrome. We can switch to our other window of Chrome with multiple tabs, just like you would expect. This is a great new feature for those who do a lot of research on a mobile device, as this can add another layer of organization due to being able to keep tabs and windows open separately. Again, this instance is going to be completely separate from this instance. But you can see from the icon, it's still the same instant install of Chrome Canary. So that's a nice little hidden feature that was just added to the Chrome Canary build. Again, I, this is not available in the stable release of Chrome right now. The multi-instance hidden flag I was only able to find in the beta and the canary build. And as I mentioned, the manage windows pop-up was only available on the canary version. So Google is actively working on this feature. It may not even make its way to the stable build of Chrome. There are a lot of experimental features that just get dropped completely. But as of right now, Google has added a way to create multiple instances of Chrome while maintaining their own tabs for each window of Chrome that you have opened. And you can open multiple windows with Chrome. Remember, we just need to put, we just need to open up the app in split screen mode and then you should get a new a new window option whenever you manage those windows and that new window option we can open up as many new windows as we want and they will all be present and visible in the Recents page, just as you would expect. One last detail that I wanted to mention real quick, this feature, this Instance Switcher feature is available on all versions of Android. You will be able to manage windows, create windows with their own individual tabs on any version of Android. However, you will not see the multiple instances of Chrome's windows, unlike you're seeing here, unless you are on Android 12. I was testing this on an Android 11 device. I was able to create other windows, keep things organized in those tabs in separate windows. However, those extra windows were not showing up in the Recents page. You are only going to get this Recents view page if you are running Android 12 or newer.